In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3.1 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2024. If you're looking for any other question from this paper, you should find a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for any other paper, look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But of course, this is in the classroom, we're on YouTube, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch at 2x speed, whatever you find useful. If you find any of my videos useful, uh, I would appreciate like, subscribe, or sharing it with someone else doing the A-level exams. Question two, um, ask you simply to solve this equation here, natural log of x minus five is equal to seven minus the natural log of x. And uh, give, your, give your answer correct to two decimal places. There, there's a clue there of a little trick later in the question. They said, give your answer, not your answers. So they only expect one answer to this question, but we're gonna find two, but we're, I'm gonna show you why one of them is wrong. Okay, how do we start this question? Um, there's a, a couple of ways. You could um, end up raising um, both sides to the power of E doing something like that, getting rid of natural log. We don't need to do that. There's, a, there's rules for natural logs. So if we get these two natural logs on the same side, we can combine them. There's lots of rules for natural logs and one of, they combine quite easily. Let me show you what I mean here. So if I rearrange this to be natural log minus x minus five, move this over to plus natural log x equals seven. Uh, there's a rule to say in any log, sorry, I said in rules for natural logs, rules for all logs. Natural log is just a special case of a log. Um, the, a lo two logs adding together can just be put together like this, uh, x minus five multiplied by x. So what's in this log multiplies what's in this log. That's, that's just how logs work. Again, they can be taken back apart as well if you want, and that equals seven. At this point, now that I have just one single natural log, now I would um, raise both sides to e, is that how I say that, or um, e to the power of both sides. Basically, I put it e on both sides. Let's move the equals to the middle. And on the left side, this would destroy it. The e and the natural log destroy each other. Um, so we'll be left with, to clean this up as x, let's multiply this out, x squared minus five x equals e to the power of seven. So that's, a, that's quadratic, especially if we move this over the equals. But uh, like that, that's a quadratic equation. We can go ahead and solve that. Um, oh, let me just say, remember, I did say we could um, e to the power of both sides, and you get something similar happening where, where two things added turn into a multiply just with the rules of powers. That's, I won't bother going through it, but you should get to the same line here eventually. And uh, once you're here, then you just solve this uh, quadratic equation. You're not going to be able to factorize it in your head. <laughs> it's not going to, you're just not going to be able to do it. Um, if you are, congratulations, you're probably not watching this video. And uh, what you can do is use the minus b formula to solve this. Uh, let's start down here by just writing out a is equal to one, b is equal to minus five, and the complicated one, c is equal to minus e to the power of seven. This is just a number. Put it in the calculator if you want. It's, a, it's an awkward number. It's a, I assume it's big-ish, two to the power, 2.7 to the power of uh, seven, I don't know what it is, but for a thousand or so, no idea. Um, just go ahead and solve this using the formula. Uh, minus b plus minus b, well, let's write it out here. x is equal to minus b, which is minus minus is a plus, uh, plus or minus the square root of b squared, uh, minus five squared is 25, uh, minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is uh, another minus e to the power of seven, all over two. Let's, uh, you can clean this up a bit, like uh, these, yeah, really, those two minuses make a plus. Other than that, I guess I just put this in the calculator at this point, um, which I've done here. Put it in with a plus, then put it in with a minus, get two answers. Two answers I get are 35.71, yeah, rounded off two decimal places. That's what I did there. And the other answer I get is ter sorry, minus 30.71. Now that's it, if you left that as your answer, you would lose a mark uh, because one of these is wrong. Uh, like I said, they gave you the clue, give your answer, singular. 
There's only one answer to this question. So why is one of these wrong? Um, well, the only thing you know, you've messed around with things here, but what we know is what they told us. Natural log of this equals seven minus natural log of x. Natural logs are a little, a little finicky. If I draw an x, y axis, that's a natural log there. They never go over there. Um, X is never a minus. Natural logs don't deal with them. They don't have an answer. Put in your calculator. Calculator. Uh, natural log of minus five. It'll just tell you error. There's n there's no answer. So X will never be a minus because of this. And uh, this even tells us X will never be uh, less than five. For example, if X was a four, four minus five is minus one. Natural log of uh, minus one can't exist. Okay, so we actually know x is bigger than 5. Or at least just looking at this one, we know x is not a minus. So if we test both of these, well, you already see this one's wrong. But if I put that in, yeah, that's a minus, it doesn't work. Put this one in here, that one works, natural log of 35, that's uh, easy enough to. Uh, put it in, double check, put it in here, uh, 35 minus 5 is, is about 30. That, that is, that's fine, that's bigger than 0. This one, Nothing wrong with it, so that's my final answer here. Um, okay, that's it for question two. If you have any questions or point out any mistakes I made, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching, have a great day.